Swamiji, can you explain what is life? How can we avoid angry? I'm sorry, what is? Explain what is life. What is life? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and what's the second part of it? How can you avoid angry? How can you avoid anger? Uh. See, uh, if you're driving in the Coimbatore streets, if you're driving in the Coimbatore street, you have to avoid uh, the medians which are in placed in odd places. You have to avoid bad drivers. You have to avoid drunken men crossing the street, children crossing the street, all kinds of things. But when you're driving in Coimbatore street, do you have to avoid the moon? I'm asking, do you have to avoid the moon? No, because the moon is not on the street, isn't it? So similarly, right now are you angry? No? Then why should you avoid it? There's no need to avoid it. It is just that you think anger is an entity, Anger is not an entity, you become angry. You become angry. Anger is not sitting somewhere and you go hit it, there is no such thing. You become angry. When you become angry, is it pleasant for you or unpleasant for you? Unpleasant for you. Unpleasant for others for sure, unpleasant for yourself also. Today medical science proves to you, when you're angry, you're actually poisoning your system, you know. We have always known this, but today chemical tests clearly show you that you're actually poisoning your system, generating poison in the system by being angry. So, why would you want to poison yourself? It is not a conscious act. You're poisoning yourself, you're causing unpleasantness to yourself, only because your mind is not taking instructions from you, isn't it? It is not taking instructions from you. If it was taking instructions from you, you would have said blissfulness, isn't it? You wouldn't say anger. But now when you want to be peaceful, it is getting angry because it is not taking instructions from you. So if your mind is not taking instructions from you, you have to pay a little more attention to it. Why is it not taking instructions from you? If you understand me,